and we're back with more DKJB and we're entering the Starfruit Kingdom. I have never had a Starfruit in my entire life, but I would like to try it. Alright, the first one is a race versus Ninjapes. So, hopefully we'll be able to win this race and spank those monkeys. Keep your combo as long as you possibly can, if you can do it. And these guys are gonna make themselves flow. No, 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 And I'm in fourth place. Oh, fifth place. Wait, uh, how many monkeys are there anyway? Jesus. Clap. Get off. Oh, I guess I have to do it like that. Well, whatever. I thought I could get off that thing whenever I wanted to by clapping, but I guess I was mistaken. I'm gonna go through the chute. Maybe it was for laundry or something in medieval times, but now it is a monkey chute. Oh no, I'm just screwing up all over the place. Obviously, this can easily be improved. If you put a little bit more effort into it than I seem to be doing at the moment. Nah, I'm actually putting all the effort I possibly can into it and I'm just messing up miserably, but that's alright. Uh, I don't think that you'll that I'll die if I don't make it through the race in a certain position. At least I hope I won't. Oh no 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 monkeys. Monkeys! Yeah! Boingy and whoa, that monkey's really going. He's on the ceiling, Jesus! Woo! Go monkey, go, go monkey, go DK, go! Oh my god, he's a little bit faster. Oh, I got third place and only a hundred points, but whatever. I completed the stage. That was not a good race whatsoever. I made a lot of mistakes. Obviously, you can get a lot more speed by bouncing yourself across the, uh, off the walls. And not getting stuck on corners and stuff like that like I did by maintaining mo your momentum through the whole race. And don't ask me why, but now we are in outer space. This makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Anyway, climb up the side of here and make Mr. Dragon Bowl open his mouth and maybe I should go up this side because it's going, yeah, it's like a treadmill. Yeah! Woo! Okay, now let me in your bowels, dragon. You gotta wonder what happens like when they have to poop or something. I mean, just think about it for a second. Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, if one end eats, it will have to come out the other end. But what happens if both end eats? I mean, there would have to be like a poop tug of war or something in those bowels. Wouldn't you think so? Well, anyway. Ah, no, 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 no. Don't let me fall down. Don't let me fall down. Bouncy blue fireballs are not good. And clap. Oh, I mistimed my clap. I should have did it just a little bit later so I could get all four of those bananas. And yes, we're flying through outer space right now in case you can't tell. This makes absolutely no sense. I mean, how the heck did we go from uh, some sort of building on the ground to outer space? It makes no sense whatsoever. Yeah. And upsy daisy and into the other dragon's mouth. And I failed to clap the first, I mean clap loud enough the first time, but that's okay. Oh, this is a hard one. You have to uh, kill the piggy while on this thing right here. Yeah! And sometimes the timing is not in your favor. Uh, and if you do it too, like if uh, you're in mid-air while the platform's in motion, there's a good chance that you're not going to fall back onto the platform because it's just that small enough. And yes, you have to be under those birds in order to get the majority of the bananas in the area. Well, at least ice in space makes uh, sense. Look at all the critters. Yay! By the way, you don't have to kill these at all. It's just for points. Yeah! Uh oh And I'm not getting any good combos, am I? <laughs> uh, oh well, let's just move on. Yeah, you don't have to kill them, as I said. Yeah! Yay! Into the Dragon Ball, and out the other Dragon Ball. Clap, 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 clap as many flowers as you can, and I didn't get quite enough. Yes, I got a hundred! And holy cow, I'm sliding down electric... I don't know what the heck to call them. There's some sort of electric cord that isn't protected or something by insulation. And I'm going to fall to my death, aren't I? Well, not to my death, but into space. But that's okay. Space just kind of bounces you back up onto your, the me last meteor that you touch. That's just how space works. You see, that's how astronauts are able to go out into space and a are able to walk on planets with zero gravity and stuff like that because you are constantly being bounced back onto the meteors and planets. That's you are off. Whoa, that's not good. 
<laughs> that <coughs> excuse me that you are constantly oh I'm just too focused on the thing spider to finish my joke statement dang it you ruined the moment all right let's just continue on oh wait, wait I'm not supposed to go that way and I just slid it right off anyway <laughs> That was kind of stupid, because I seen that arrow and I ended up pushing to the right anyway. Clap, clap, and that should make this appear, yep. A couple of bugs that are formed into an arrow. That's how they tell each other where to go. Oh my god, I do not like these rocks. Yeah, you see, bugs like to go into different formations to point each other where to go properly. And I'm going to stun you, and I'm also going to kill you. You've got to go, Mr. Fishy Frog. Yeah, it's really, that, that critter is so weird. It's like a puffer fish and a frog combined or something like that. And it doesn't have a frog-like long tongue or anything like that. And yeah! Wah! Come on, DK. I have faith in your wall jumping skills. Wait, you gonna go with the other way or? Yeah, if, if you didn't notice those, those spotlights, uh, tell you where enemies are. As well as you. And plop! And pull the rubber band! Yay! Yeah! Whoa. Oh! If you ever flinged like a rubber band at someone just for the fun of it, like you, you stretched it out and you flinged it at someone, you know the fun that is! Oh my god, the most flamboyant panda in the world returns for a rematch! And he's just as easy as the other time that you kill him. Yeah, he, it's the exact way to beat him. Yeah. That's it, for that mini-boss. I wouldn't even call that a mini-boss, that was just pathetic. Yay! Dragon Balls in space! And onto this weird antelope ram thing, and clap next to the star fruit. Actually, I guess you don't have to clap next to it, it'll automatically start. And we got a jumping course coming up, so let's do this! Get last speed, use both hands if you have to. You know, these jumping courses would be a lot uh, more interesting, in my opinion, if they had, like, different levels. Um, like, if you were jumping onto higher platforms each time, I think that would have added uh, a little bit more, um, a bit more suspense. And, oh my god, it's Lizard Boy, what are you doing here? Yeah! You're going down! And uh, I guess he's not going down. I lost that amount of points, that kind of sucked. I would have got a bunch of points from Lizard Boy, but instead... 15 jumps equals 150 beats. And uh, before I do the boss, I'm gonna cut the camera. Alright, let's start! Sumo Coin! We are on the frickin' meteor for this battle! This is the final Kong battle in the game. He is chunky, he is big, he is powerful, and he looks evil. Oh, no, no, no. And, oh, wait, I'm supposed to do that, aren't I? Yep. Okay, punch, punch, punch. Oh, wait, punch. It's punch, punch, punch. It's alternate your punches and then clap to dodge. Like that. And there we go. Now we got him. Whoa, 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 whoa. Alternate. Oh. Alt, alt, alt. Yeah, that works too, I guess. <laughs> I guess he eventually does a move where he catches your hands and. Ooh, 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 clap. Yeah! Feel the pain, Sumo Kong! Oh, yes, that punch, if you don't throw him off balance with your punches like that, uh, you won't be able to retaliate with your clap. And he's dead. Much, much easier than Ninja Kong, I gotta say. I'm still unsure how to beat that guy. <laughs> What's funny about that I'm unsure how to beat the guy is that I'm the walkthrough guy! Jeez! What do you guys watch me for if I don't know how to beat a boss? You know, every time. <laughs> well, I lost quite a few beats on that one because my timing was off at first, but I got it back later on. That boss could easily be beaten without the taking a hit. Not sure about Ninja Kong though, that one's a mystery. Kingdom Clear, let's watch the video from our past. Bouncy, 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 and a couple wall kicks. See what I mean about keeping your rhythm on that ninja rally stage? Definitely uh, kick yourself off on ledges like that and bounce off walls. Just keeping the rhythm as fast 
I mean, keeping yourself moving as fast as you possibly can at a time will allow you to move much more freely through the uh, corridors of that area. So, that concludes this part. There are only two more stages to go. Both are boss stages, the Cactus King and the Ghastly King. So, uh, next part will be the last part. I'll see you guys later.